It's been a lifelong dream of mine to do something like this. <laughs> Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. How is your day going? Before we even get started right now, I want you to do two things. Smash that like button. Let's get this over 10,000 likes. Leave a comment because I want to know what's up with you guys. What is happening? And then we'll get going. I wanted to get into kind of an interesting topic today, if you don't mind. A little more of a cerebral vlog of sort. Not really. I just wanted to talk to you about my passion. Like, why did I start the Reptarium? What have been my roadblocks? You know, during the last two months of people coming, I've had a lot of people say, I want to follow my dreams. I want to follow my passions. How did you get where you got? And I'm not going to tell you what to do. All I can really do is share with you why I've done the things and the challenges that I've faced. So I figured I would talk a little bit about that in today's vlog. But in the meantime, we're just going to have some fun with the animal. Before I get into anything too deep today, I think I'm just going to spend a little minute here with my girl Bella. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing this morning? You okay? I bet you she's happy that Noah's not in here. <laughs> you know, she is so amazing. Literally, every morning when I come in, the first thing she does when she sees me, she'll be way up there. She jumps right down like, come pet me, Dad. And I always have to show her a little love. Bella, you are such an amazing little puppy. That's right, you're in the oh, I did. I think I found the spot. Good job, girl. These Jackson's chameleons are doing so good. I mean, take a look at this female here. She's nice and green, getting pretty plump. This girl is awesome. I mean, look how brown she just blends right in with the rock. And then, of course, here's the male over here looking absolutely incredible. And there's actually a third female in here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where she is. They are so good at hiding and blending in for sure. But regardless, all four of them are just doing incredible. Look at how this girl changed from that brown, already changing to that green color. Oh my gosh, how trippy is that? Oh, and by the way, there's the, the female in the back there, hiding right back there. And just so that you guys know, chameleons don't actually change color. What they actually do is they have what they call chromatophores, which are basically something that lighten and darken, so an animal can kind of change the hue of the color. But they're the same color. They don't go from like green to purple to red to yellow. That's not how it works. But this is a perfect example of how different they can look. Sometimes she'll look just as green as the male, and other times look at that brownish look that she has right now. Oh my God, I love these guys. Since we've opened the Reptarium, uh, it's been a pretty common thing for people to say like, I want to do something similar. I want to follow my dreams to work with animals. So I figured number one, I would talk about like, why did I open up the Reptarium? And what have been my challenges over the last three decades when it comes to working with animals? Let me start by saying, the reason I opened the Reptarium is really simple. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to do something like this. And basically the reason behind it is that I wanted to build something that I would have loved to go to when I was a kid. That's right, not just to go and look at amazing animals or go to a pet shop where everything is for sale, but to go basically to a zoo, but instead of just looking in the enclosures and wondering about the animals, be able to go look at animals, but then take them out and feel them and get up close and learn about them. And that's why I decided I was gonna do something like this. I realized that it's not quite orthodox for me to do it because most zoos don't let people handle all their animals and I know that I have to always be concerned about over stressing the animals it's something that we keep in mind every single day how is the animal acting how is it continuing to do because we don't want anything to go wrong with these animals for sure after all we love them to death and they're amazing ambassadors by now you guys know I'm gonna feed the frogs Like I've mentioned before, it didn't just start with the Reptarium, you know, it started all those years ago when I wanted to start breeding snakes for a living here at BHB. And the truth is, a lot of people struggle with the fact that they don't get support from their family, their loved ones, people around them think they're crazy, so I like that. Well, guess what? I had the same issue. Yeah, I've always had Lori on my side for sure, but the rest of my family has always thought I was crazy for pursuing my dreams. They always were like, why don't you just get a job, Brian, you work so hard, you're not making enough money this isn't worth it because listen we had good times we had bad times but in the beginning when you first start something like BHB or any business for that matter it's gonna be a struggle it's gonna take time and those first years are hard I mean they're lean times you are working and working
working and working and making no money because you need to grow your business. But listen, it's worth it. You have to pursue your dreams because if you listen to the people around you that are saying, don't do it, go a conventional route, and then you're unhappy the rest of your life, what did that get you, right? So I don't want to get too deep on you guys, but I encourage you to follow what you're passionate about. Even if it seems like sometimes the path to get where you want to go is really, really difficult, trust me, you got to just keep foraging forward. So I know a lot about a lot of things. And I know nothing about a lot of things. And I'm not too big to admit when I don't know something. So I called my buddy Steve from Bashy Aquatics and I said, there's something wrong with this sump right now. I don't know what's going on. The water levels are dropping and I don't know. Well, apparently you have to add water. Uh, who would have known? It evaporates. I just thought that this kind of fed this. I, I didn't know. So uh, I've got a hose out. I'm going to fill this thing up. And things will probably work a lot better when the water is actually where it's supposed to be. So. Uh, you learn something every day. Not really 100% sure what Chicken Strip is doing up there. What are you doing, buddy? Hanging from the ceiling. Hey, Cheeto. What are you doing, bud? Hey, silly Roswell. Take a look, guys. One of Lucy's babies, a little tiger citron. How amazing is this? And I do want to get a little deep with you guys, just for one second. I Don't bear with me for one second here. You guys may not know a lot about things other than the things that you see in the vlog, but, you know, I really didn't have a dad, right? You know, he was out of the picture when I was really young. And then I had a stepdad that was a great person, but he hated snakes. My mom didn't like snakes. She never really was supportive of it. You know, don't get me wrong. She was supportive of my decisions and so like that. She really always thought I was crazy and she was never like, Brian, you follow your dreams. She was always like, Brian, why don't you cut your hair? Brian, why don't you get a job? You know, and I've never really even said this on the vlog or snake bites or any other place, but you know, she's never been to this place. She's never been to the Reptarium. She was never at my old place. I mean, the last time that she's ever seen any of my businesses were probably 15 or 18 years ago when I had a small collection she visited once, but that's been it, you know? So I haven't had family support. My siblings have never thought I was doing the right thing. They always were against me. Even to this day when I bring up something like, hey, I'm going to open up a reptile zoo, it's always like, why would you do that? That's just so stupid, Brian. You know, why are you wasting your money? Why are you wasting your time? Aren't you too busy? You shouldn't keep going. You should pull back. You should do this. And it stinks because you want to be able to share these things with the people around you, your family. But hey, listen, you got to sometimes push that aside and just follow your dreams. As long as your dreams are positive and inspirational and they're going to be good in the end. And even if financially it doesn't make sense, sometimes it's still worth it because you love what you're doing. Although most of the time when you do what you love and you're passionate about it, eventually the money does come. Take a look at Potato. I mean, he is deep in shed. I tell you what, it's unusual to see him that blue color like a snake like this. Oh my God. And these guys don't shed like a snake. They'll shed kind of in pieces, but he usually does a pretty good job. And if you ever have a blue tongue skink, a little word of advice. You want to make sure all the shed is off their toes because if their shed's stuck on their toes, they can actually lose their toes. So make sure you always keep that in mind when you have a blue tongue skink. I've mentioned in the past that people absolutely love Nova, but I just get such a kick on this thing. Of course, the Indonesian frill dragon. Oh my gosh, Nova is incredible. And what I love about Nova is when he jumps and runs. Look at him. Oh, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, what's up with you? You don't normally do that. Normally he just kind of scampers off to the back, but he was definitely a little bit afraid in the camera. It's okay, buddy. It's all right. Again, he hardly ever frills up when he does. It's definitely a treat. Woohoo, <laughs> doggy. Take a look at this Sunrise Northern Blue Tongue Skink. Oh my God, I am so excited about the Blue Tongue Skink breeding season this year. Oh my gosh, we should have some amazing babies and it's right around the corner. They're cooling off now and they'll start breeding in about six or seven weeks. So, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so exciting to see some of these animals hopefully have some incredible babies this coming up year. So why am I talking to you guys today about you know the reptarium and why I did it and, and why you should push forward is because every now and then I just feel so grateful I want to share it with you guys and I hope that you guys don't mind and think oh my god Brian just shut up and show us some animals or whatever the case may be trust me most of our vlogs are going to be that way oh and by the way Eric and Mary are back today they'll be back into the shop here tomorrow or the next day whatever from their honeymoon it sounds like they had a great time but you guys are missing Eric and Mary and you'll get a chance to see them again the next day or two and uh, we'll get back to some normal stuff my point is I'm so grateful for being able able to follow things that I love and work hard at the things that I've wanted to do. But in truth, you guys are the ones that make it all possible. And I want you to understand that you're along
along for the ride and I want to encourage you to live your life to the fullest. Is every day great? No. Honestly, I wake up sometimes and feel like not doing stuff. I wake up sometimes, I'm not in the best mood, but the fact is you push through it, you try to look at the positives, you work hard, and you just kind of keep going because that's what life is about. And I always tell people, even when something is going bad, being upset about it and being in a bad mood doesn't make it better, so you might as well just try to be as positive as you possibly can and keep on working hard to fulfill your dream. Okay, so that's enough of that. I know there are some people that watch the vlog and go, shut up, Brian, I'm sick of hearing you guys talk about inspiration and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get back to other things. We have some things to do over at the Reptarium. We are open tonight, so we're gonna have a really fun time tonight. So that concludes the boring part of this vlog, but I really truly think some of you needed to hear it. That's why I did it. When any of the animals get stressed out kind of like Nova did, I wanna kind of just give them a reward so that they don't think it's a bad thing being handled, right? So I'm just gonna give them a couple super worms. Here you go, bud. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Nova absolutely loves the super rooms. And again, that just kind of gets that relationship back where it's like, all right, just because I took you out and you got a little stressed out, I still love you. Here's some super rooms, here's a treat. So he likes me again, you know how it goes. I wanted to share with you guys one of the newest animal ambassadors here at the zoo. This is actually Jasper, the African fat tailed gecko. And a friend of ours actually donated it. So it's pretty cool that we have another gecko that is similar to a leopard gecko, but this one is totally chill. It's gonna be really good around kids and this is his new cage. We're about an hour into the open of the Reptarium and I'm going to be honest with you it's just been so packed and so busy that I haven't had a chance to pick up the camera but uh, it's been a unbelievably fun night tonight. A lot of really great people. We're having a blast here. You guys are awesome. <laughs> It's right oh. there. And then we got a drill And we left this guy out. So you were in charge of this one. You did a good job. Oh my God. This has been a great, great, great start to the night. It's been amazing. We're having a blast. Casper's out. People have been loving him. We have stuff all over the place. I mean, oh, this is fun. I could do this every minute of my life. This is, this is the best feeling. Oh, yes. <laughs> you may notice that everyone is getting over by Lucy's cage. That's because we are feeding Lucy today. Last time we fed her, she was up in a tree and it really wasn't that exciting. This time she's down, so it should be pretty cool. I'm gonna go get a rabbit. And just for the record, we always put out that we are feeding frozen rabbits so that if anyone's kind of you know sensitive to that, we wanna definitely be aware of that and be understanding of it. So we're gonna get a couple frozen rabbits. We're gonna feed Lucy and then hopefully maybe we'll feed Daisy too. We'll see how she is. But Daisy isn't, isn't entertained. She just kind of takes it. It's no big deal. So anyways, let's get some rabbits. So Lucy is definitely ready to go. Awesome. Everyone else is ready to go Bye. too. Bye. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be scary. <laughs> She was definitely hungry. <laughs> All right, so Lucy ate really well. I'm gonna to be totally honest with you guys. Uh, it was a little closer than what I'd like, to be honest. I don't wanna get bit in front of people, so I was really using my inner snake ninja zen, trying to make sure, but there was a point where she got about six inches from my leg, and I knew if she struck and missed that rabbit, it was gonna be a problem. Thankfully, it worked out. She was in the absolute worst spot that you could possibly be in the entire cage. If I had to choose one spot in the cage, I would like her to not be, that's where she was. But we had like a hundred people watching it's not like I could just say sorry guys we can't do it but it all worked out fine she ate like a beast and uh look at, and here she is right now look at her wow. An absolutely amazing night here at the Reptarium. Definitely really busy tonight, huh? Yes, Jessica is busy. crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm really, really happy because you came to visit us. She is from Scotland. Now, she didn't come from Scotland here, but she did make a special trip here. You've been tooling around the world. You spent time in Australia. You spent time on the West Coast, and you're on the way back home, and you yeah. stopped here. Yeah. <laughs> So, so you've been able to handle a lot of animals that maybe you didn't. You were handling all kinds of stuff in Australia. Was there something that you liked the most today? I mean, what was it that here um, that you liked the most? I loved Lucy. Lucy, so oh my cool. god, oh my gosh. <laughs> and by the way, a little secret, I didn't film it, but I did let her feed Lucy the second rabbit, by the way. <laughs> and Jessica was mad about that, but. Yeah, I've never fed Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next time Jessica, next feed night, Jessica's I've feeding. I've never even held RJ, Brian. What? Yeah. Oh my god. 
<laughs> what is wrong with her? I don't. Okay, we've got some things to check off the checklist here, but uh, thank you so much. Seriously, it's amazing. I, uh, I am so inspired by people like you that go out and travel the world and experience these things. And uh, I know you're going to do great things because you're going to continue to work in animals, right? Hopefully my master's in animal conservation. Nice. That's awesome. Love it. We had a great night tonight. We basically closed up. We have a handful of people hanging out after hours just having a really good time. You know, chin wagging and all that type of stuff. If this wasn't enough of a reason to show you why I opened the Reptarium, I don't know what it is. Tonight was absolutely incredible. It was bonkers. It was everything that I wanted this place to be and I couldn't be more excited about it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along for the journey and I hope that I inspired you guys if you want to follow your dreams and your passions and maybe someone was thinking like, I don't know, you know, everyone does want me to do this maybe this will push you over the edge be smart about it don't do silly stuff obviously but if you really want to follow your passion go after it work hard it is so worth it and with that said i'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day evening whenever you happen to be watching as always your support means the world to me and i truly 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 love you guys so much do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button try to get this video as many likes as possible turn those post notifications on so you know when i upload a video make a comment down below because i love reading about you guys be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.